That's the kind of bio you give when you have no idea what you're going to talk about. <laughs> that was a perfect um, presentation to lead into mine. Thank you, Marilyn. I'm here to talk to you about OK. First of all, people always ask me what OK stands for. They want an acronym. There's no acronym. Short answer doesn't stand for anything. Long answer is it stands for something. OK is a symbol of the interdependence of opposites. We cannot have light without dark. We cannot have dark without light. We cannot have life without death. We cannot have death without life. This is the harmony of existence that is present on all scales of the universe. But it's not always so harmonious. There are times when one of these elements becomes too strong. We have scorching deserts, we have frozen tundras, we have the far right and we have the far left. These extremes don't just happen in our environment but in our society, not in our, just in our environment and our society but within us as well. I noticed this as a teenager when I was dealing with depression. I would swing from anxiety ridden boredom to being out of control. When I graduated, I went to Champlain College, and at that point, I created more balance in my life, and I was able to see that my peers were all at varying stages of this struggle as well. Thankfully, I had taken a gap year. Working, traveling, studying religion, spirituality, psychology, neuroscience, and evolution, trying to understand what it means to be human and how to become healthy and happy. So I started a club, then I dropped out. <laughs> and I turned my club into a business, called it OK. But, it didn't, but I didn't really want to charge money, so it wasn't much of a business. <laughs> so I started working in education and facilitated free community meetings every week, testing out my ideas on the willing guinea pigs of Burlington. I did workshops, I did a video series, I did a blog, I did meeting after meeting, I tried to communicate OK through music. And in the meantime, I worked in a preschool, a preschool elementary school, middle school, high school, and now I work for an ed tech company. It's been an incredible learning experience, but also really frustrating. I've been trying to find a way to effectively share OK with adolescents, because I see many of the problems in our society stemming from a lack of intention around the coming of age process. From the age of 13 to 21, we gain the power of reproduction. We gain the power to provide for ourselves and others and the power to participate in our democracy. We have all of this power, not to mention the power to go to war and take a life. And we don't really understand how to use it. And this leads to unhealthy rela relationships, unhealthy people, debt, and disengagement. So what's the solution? Summer camp. I've taken the OK framework that I've been developing for the past five years and turned it into a summer camp. I don't know why it took me so long to do it, but next summer I'm going to be launching OK Camp, and through experiential, project-based, personalized learning, campers will dive into the following three areas, which I, now I need to wait for the slides because I think I went fast. <laughs> so the following three areas. <clears throat> First one is consciousness. So this includes developing self-awareness and knowledge, forming habits that strengthen the mind and body, understanding human evolution and culture, and experiencing flow states. The next one is capital. <laughs> it's hard to do the 22nd thing. Capital. Money is a tool that adolescents can begin to learn. Our campers will become financially literate, or at least begin to be and understand the power of the choices we make with our money. The third one is citizenship. This will first and foremost deal with what our power is as citizens, how we use it, and why we should use it. We will also do research within our own communities and see what we can do to bring people together to make them better. Okay, so what we're going to change is Man, it's tough. First, culture. By developing self-awareness, forming healthy habits, understanding what it means to be human, and by having transcendental experiences together, we can shift our culture.
to one that fosters creativity and connection. The second thing we will change, what is it? <coughs> Business. When we get in the habit of saving from a young age, we understand the power of investment and the joy of donating. When we understand that as a community we have the power to shape the world through the choices we make with our money, we can transform capitalism. And when we experience democracy, the difference a vote can make, the importance of everyone's voice, and we get out in our communities and see the problems firsthand, we realize that our individual contributions are critical to making the world a better place, and we will stay informed and we will vote. Finally, campers will have a better understanding of how to use technology as a tool, see their phones and computers as powerful devices that they need to be aware of how they are using. Also, they will begin to see the health of our environment as something precious that we must care for diligently. This is a lot, but I ask you not to underestimate adolescents. I intend to teach them very little, but instead create the conditions for them to discover, reflect, and share with one another so we may learn as a community. Okay, if you're thinking right now, those are some pretty lofty goals, and I don't see how those are possible or how the hell are you gonna get kids excited about those things, that's okay. I, can't go that in depth about how I'm going to do it all. So please contact me if you want more answers. In a couple weeks, I'm going to be presenting to the board of the North Branch School here in Vermont to see if they'd like to host this. It will start off as a day camp next summer. If you'd like to make, help make it happen, I'll be funding it through personal microloans of under $100. But most importantly, if you have any kids around 12, 13, or 14, or know someone who does, please be in touch with me. Thank you.